subject, trash in this neighborhood. <laughs> As we all know, uh, businesses recognize it, residents recognize it, the city recognizes it. We need help. And the chamber has decided to sponsor cleanup. We're going to provide uh, t-shirts for all the volunteers and participants and refreshments for anybody who would like to join us that, that morning. The city is going to provide us with shovels and brooms and bags and gloves. And uh, we're going to be meeting um, on September 21st at 8.30, check-in. We're going to start um, passing all the shovels and bags out and designating certain areas of the North End. I have it all mapped out, all color coordinated. We're going to go out in teams. And from 9 to 12, you're going to take care of your little area. And then everybody's going to come back and bring all the equipment and all the garbage and all the trash that they've collected back to the Prado and the city's going to pick everything up. So if everything goes smoothly, it's not the end, by 12 noon on September 21st with these stick and span and hopefully it'll stay that way for a little while. Um, Any rain day? Uh, following week. Okay, thank you. Just in case. We're going to meet at the Prado, 8.30 is check-in. Um, we're going to be assigning teams. If you have your own team and you want to stay together, or there's certain groups that um, want to stay in certain sections of the North End, I have every street covered. I have every side street covered. I have every playground covered. Um, we just need the volunteers to show up so that we can get it done completely so that this, the trash isn't blowing down from one street to another street. So if it's clean all at the same time, and any loose garbage, any household garbage that you see, bring it back up to the Parado and have the city take everything. School. Okay. Okay. School. I don't want to rain, rain on your cleanup, but something I think that one should point out. Our building on Commercial Street pays about a million dollars a year in city taxes. We keep our sidewalks quite clean. Which is your building? Lincoln Moore. That's a very nice job. With that, kind, with that kind of money pouring into the city, I would think that the city would be able to clean up the streets. What are we going to do? Chip in next for police or fire, do our own firework? Police work? Why should we be cleaning up the city when the city should be doing it as part of the city services? I, Thanks for the shovels. I, I don't I don't disagree. Um, well, it's been it's been it like be pushing a, pushing the bowl. Somebody should think about. I, I, the city yeah. should be doing this. We should have to depend on volunteers. It, except that it's been it's been pushing a boulder up up a mountain, and there is only so much the city can do. And I think that um, if if we all participate and keep our own streets, I think that at some point. Even though we do pay for these services, we also have responsibility for our own neighborhood. I don't like stepping over trash. I know the city can't be everywhere. I know that the businesses can't do everything and the residents can't do everything. But if we all pull it together, we can keep our streets clean. And I, I, I do agree. We pay very high taxes. I do not represent the city. I, I, I'm in the private sector. I'm here as a volunteer. I don't get paid for this. But um, I do not like the trash on the street. Um, I sell real estate. I own a real estate company. It is extremely embarrassing to me when I'm showing $2 million piece of property and I'm climbing over garbage. So, <laughs> you know, for, for your property's sake, for, for the, the good of the neighborhood, for the health of the neighborhood, um, it, it just, it's, it's smart to, to participate. That's that's another good question. The um the, cha the Chamber of Commerce has also sponsored uh, probably 15 barrels, as many as we possibly could, getting them as close into the North End as possible. They're the big barrels. They have a half recycling, recycling and trash. 
but they're large. Yes. And I've walked around the neighborhood and I've identified many locations for these barrels to go. And the, the locations aren't big enough or either the establishment or the residents do not want them in front of their doorways. So, you know, if, if I could get a little wiggle room and just point out that I accepted one in front of my business, they are so well cared for, they are not city cared for, they're privately cared for, they're sponsored by, you know, whatever commercial entity is sponsoring the barrels at the time. They are extremely clean, they have a, a little gadget that um, sends a, a message to the person who takes care of them when they're almost full and they come down and they empty them and they wash them down and they clean them every single night. So they're not horrible and I could probably identify immediately 12 locations in the North End but the city doesn't want to put them and the neighbors didn't want to put them and I'm trying very hard to get more barrels in the neighborhood. They're trash compactors. They, they, they have like a solar pressure that sort of condenses the trash. And in the summer, on the weekends, they're overflowing. The, the ones that are overflowing in the north end, I hate to say, are maintained by the city, not by Vector. Yeah. Yeah. So people want to put, it, put their trash in a barrel or a trash receptacle. Unfortunately, there aren't enough around. Yeah. I, Unfortunately, those same people need to follow the rules that everybody else follows and that we have three trash pickups and that, you know, I beg people to put the trash out the morning of instead of the night before. I've been lobbying the city like crazy for years, trying to get them to never allow trash out on the street overnight. It's just, it's the most ridiculous thing. It should only go out in the morning. They should move the trash pickup up a little bit to allow people enough time to, to put their trash out before they go to work, before they go to school, before they, just, just enough time, even if it's just till 9 o'clock and then they start picking up the trash, but it should never be on the street overnight. That is 70% of the problem. Part of the problem, I think, is having to keep re-educating the neighborhood because now the North End constantly has more people moving in and changing, leaving. Yep. And a lot of the ones that move in either don't care or don't know, and so yep. well, the, they the just city, do it when The city it's did a good job at providing um, documents and also refrigerator magnets. Um, and I know that in my real estate office, anybody who walks through this door, my door is that have, have not been part of this community before are educated immediately on trash. And I would hope that the other realtors in the neighborhood are participating, and I would hope that the landlords, if, they, um, if they're finding tenants privately from Craigslist or friends and family, that they're also educating their, their, new, their new tenants. This isn't a question for you. You shouldn't have to answer these questions anyway. The city should answer these questions. Um, the contract for a trash pickup is going to be renewed in 2014. I don't know what the status of development of the new contract or the request for proposals or whatever it's called, what that status is. But I would like to know from the city, what is their plan for getting uh, public they can input, have meetings. community input? They can have meetings. When will those start? Um, they go back and forth for dates now. There were some proposed, so I don't want to um, go out the limb and get the wrong information. But they, you'll be notified. Everyone will be notified. So there will be a meeting in the North End? There will be a meeting for different districts. So the, the North End, Beacon Hill, Back Bay. They, they're, they're dividing them up. So there will be meetings. If the meeting's not in the North End, the North End community mo mostly will not participate. It just gets back to life. So there should be a meeting in the North End. And the Chamber, the Council, and the Residents Association should jointly push for that. Gladly. Gladly. Considering I sit on two out of the three, gladly. Any, anybody else can I answer any other questions? <coughs> I'd just like to add, there are 42 streets in the North End, but only 13 are wide enough to accommodate the barrels. Um, 13 have no document on the street, so that means sidewalks are like this. And, and um, 
the other in the streets just have one side of the so that means narrow sidewalk, which cannot accommodate these barrels. And um, some of the sidewalks are so narrow that when you open up your front door, there was a barrel in the back. So that's why um, we have the barrels. And also, we have to use leave space for wheelchairs and carriages. So, Thank you so much, Tony. Perfect. Thank you for having me.